India. India. India is one of the the relationship between India and China is really cool like before. There's some kind of you know scratches between them. Namaskar Dostan, Renam Lucky Sam. Welcome to today's video. Woo! It's another video guys. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Just smash that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated anytime I post a new video. You get that? Just smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and in today's video we are going to react to 10 countries that are impossible to invade. You got it. <laughs> so let's go straight into it. Let's go. If there's one thing humans love, it's war. Over the last 3,400 years humans have been on Earth, 268 of them have been in peace. That's just 8% of recorded history. It's Whoa. true, even though the world seems pretty at ease right now, there are conflicts going on all over the place. Yeah, that's and true. In a few years, countries do get invaded by other countries. It's true. The most recent was in 2018 when the UAE invaded Yemen. But are there any countries on the planet which are just impossible to invade? Well, the answer is yes, there are 10. For various reasons, it would be impossible to get into these 10 countries. And it's not always big countries with strong militaries. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at countries that are impossible to invade. Before we jump hey. into it, why not invade the subscribe button and press the <laughs> notification bell too. Yeah, do that right now, on my channel. Bhutan. <laughs> Bhutan is a tiny country in Southeast Asia, and it has pretty much nothing when it comes to defense. Their army is only 7,000 personnel, and their air force consists of just two aircrafts. They also have zero tanks, but despite all really? this, Bhutan is nearly <laughs> impossible to invade. For thousands of years, no country has ever tried. You see, Whoa. Bhutan is a tiny country surrounded by Himalayan peaks. The country itself is 300 meters above sea level. So if an Ooh. enemy country wanted to invade, it would need to reach the border, which is hard to do. It would somehow need to get across all of these gigantic Himalayan peaks. Yeah, and this is when insane. They, get there, they would have incredible altitude sickness. The people of Bhutan are acclimatized to this, so they don't feel any sickness. But if you suddenly saw to that height, then you would. You would feel absolutely exhausted and sick too. All of an enemy country's resources would be spent actually trying to get to the country. Also, Bhutan is fairly insignificant when it comes to international geopolitics. They're very self-sufficient and they love peace. They're incredibly isolated physically and politically. Wow. North Korea. North Korea. <laughs> you hear rumblings about North Korea all the time. They are currently developing nuclear missiles. And they also don't have a central banking system. Some oh. argue this makes them a prime target for an invasion. But despite it being a small and poor country, it would be nearly impossible to invade. You see, despite the size of the country, it is the fourth largest military in the world. This really? is behind China, India, and the USA. They have 1.28 million active military personnel. It's true. And they've also got 4.5 million in reserves. That's they true. are equipped with 4,200 tanks, 500 fighter planes, That's nearly 1,000 battleships, and so far, eight nuclear warheads. These nukes are enough to scare off even the most powerful of countries. In the 1950s, during the Korean War, South Korea and the USA teamed up to try and subdue North Korea. But even back then, with South Korea and the USA teaming up, they couldn't do it. Not <laughs> only that, North Korea has a great friendship with China. The USA would never want to spoil their relationship with China, so they would never invade North Korea. Oh. Australia Australia is not the biggest country when it comes to population. But one of Australia's biggest defences from invaders is its geography. Australia is an island, and 70% of it is uninhabitable outback. This Whoa. is a gigantic stretch of desert. This would make it very hard for an enemy army to acclimatize. Yeah, its it's nearest true. potential enemy is Japan, but even that is 11,000 kilometers away, and forces That's would need to cross the Pacific Ocean to invade. Japan nearly did invade Australia during World War II, but once they realized how difficult it would be, they stopped. By the time they got into the country and had crossed the outback, the soldiers would be so weak and subdued. This would mean it would be easy for the Australian military to take them out. That's true. United States. The United States has the third biggest active personnel behind China and India. The USA have been major players in wars, for example, World War I and World War II. And they've also been a part of recent invasions, for example, in Iraq and Afghanistan. They also have the largest military budget of any country in the world. That is nearly $750 billion a year. 
Not only that, in the USA, many citizens possess weapons. That's there true. are 112 guns in the USA per every 100 person. That's, That's way true. more guns than people. This means that if anyone tried to invade, citizens may be able to fight them back. That's the USA true. is also gigantic. That's true. There are many different terrains, for example, deserts and also rocky mountains. Yeah. It's also separated from other superpower countries by gigantic oceans. For example, the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Switzerland. Switzerland is known as the most peaceful country in the world. They were one of the only countries in Europe to stay out of World War I and World War II. But despite this, it's one of the most powerful countries in the world. Superpowers like the UK, the USA, France and Germany all have a lot of money stored in Swiss banks. So if they tried to invade Switzerland, Switzerland could simply take all of their money. Switzerland's <laughs> geography is also great for defense. They have alpine mountains surrounding the country. They also have 24-7 army surveillance of these mountains from hidden bunkers inside wow. them. And the Swiss army are so good, they're even trusted to protect the Pope. Russia. Russia! Russia is the largest country on Earth. And this is a great defense for invaders. One of the main reasons why Germany lost World War II was because they could not conquer Russia. All of the German soldiers simply froze in the cold <laughs> climate of Russia. By the time any invaders actually got into Russia, they would be easy to subdue. That's because they would have wasted so many men and resources simply getting into the country. Russia also has nearly a million active wow. personnel. They have 3,500 military aircraft. And the most nukes out of any other country, 7,000 missiles. You can see why no one wants to go up against That's that. That's true. <laughs> United Kingdom. One European country which did not get invaded in World War II was the UK. Mm -hmm. This is mainly because it's an island which is hard to invade. Also, despite being so small, the UK is incredibly powerful on the world stage. It's a superpower like the USA, Russia or Germany. The only way you could invade is by a naval invasion through the English Channel. You'd have to go through the treacherous waters and then get up the White Cliffs of Dover. Even Germany in World War II could not do that. <laughs> the UK also has 150,000 active military personnel, and they spend 55 billion on defense every wow. year. The UK also has a quote, special relationship with the USA thanks to the NATO agreement. This means if anyone was to invade Britain, then NATO would come and help out. India. India! India is one of the largest countries in the world. And they also have the second largest active personnel. That's true. That is 1.5 million. million people. That's India insane. also has a massive military might. It has 2,000 aircrafts and over 600 helicopters. They have 6,000 tanks and 7,000 armored fighting vehicles. They also have 14 submarines and two aircraft it's carriers. Insane. India also has a great relationship with China. This means if any country, for example Pakistan, tried to invade, they likely couldn't. <laughs> That's because China, which is right above India, would probably help out. China. Let's look at the largest country in the world when it comes to population. But one thing, I don't think the relationship between India and China is really cool like before. Now it's not really cool, you know. There's some kind of, you know, scratches between them. <laughs> so probably maybe India will go for help from, you know, Russia, your US, from Israel and those countries. But I don't think they will go for help from China. So. I hope you guys understand me. China have the most active personnel, with over 2 million people. It's also an incredibly large country, which would be hard to get into. China have around 3,000 military aircraft and 800 helicopters. They also have more tanks than almost anyone, 9,500. They have 5,000 armored fighting vehicles, and also 68 submarines and one aircraft carrier. Japan. Japan is an island nation which is hard to invade. They also have a quarter of a million people in their active personnel. They've got 800 tanks, 300 air fighters and 750 helicopters. Also being an island nation, they have a big naval strength. Wow. This includes 17 submarines and 4 aircraft carriers. Their annual defense budget is around $50 billion. That's the sixth highest in the entire world. They're also known for being incredibly tough. During the USA, America was so scared of Japan, they had to drop two nuclear bombs on the country. Wow. That is because the word surrender is not within the Japanese soldiers' vocabulary. But now it's time to make your voice heard. 
Which country do you think is the most powerful on this list? Yes. If you want some more amazing yes. videos. Yes. Guys, let me know in the comment section. From this list, let me see. Bhutan, North Korea, Australia, the USA, Switzerland, Russia, the UK, India, China, Japan. Among this country, which one do you think is the most powerful in terms of military? So guys, let me know in the comment section. Let me know. Okay, this video was published in 2020, so so it's it's kind of old. The data is kind of old, so I think it's acceptable. But anyway, it's just for fun, just for entertainment. If you like this video, guys, let me know in the comment section. And if you have any thoughts or any idea, or if you want to suggest any video for me, guys, let me know in the comment section. Or you can reach me out or DM me in my Instagram. It's going to be in the description. So, other than that, it's been me, Lucky Sam, and yeah, don't forget to let me know which among this country, which one of them is, is the most powerful and in terms of, you know, military defense and attack, okay? So, peace out.